as you've seen, transitions between states can have activities. And the example that we used was a transition activity with a refrigerator light is open door, and that puts the light in the on state. So transitions can have activities, and these activities are usually ones that happen quickly. States can have activities as well. A state is either active or inactive. That is, the condition represented by a state's name is either happening or not happening at any given point in time. While a state is active, its activities can occur. Think of a state activity as a process some functionality executed by the system that happens while the object is in a particular state. This means that a state's activities, of course, cannot occur if the state is inactive. To show an activity, write it like this. First you write the label, and then you write the activity name or the activity expression. Those are separated by a forward slash. So first comes the label, forward slash, and then the activity name or expression. And by the way, you can write the activity expression using either natural language or pseudocode, whichever makes sense in your context. UML allows three labels for state activities, and these are shown right over here. The entry label means that this activity happens when the object enters the state, and it happens before any other of the state's activities. There's also the do label, and the do label indicates that this activity happens for as long as the state is active. Do, do activities uh, may be interrupted by some event. And then there's also the exit label, and the exit label shows that this activity happens when an object is leaving a state. An exit activity executes whether the do activity completes or is interrupted and aborted. So those are the three kinds of activities that you can find in a state. And let's look at an example just to make it clear. Let's say this is for a fax machine. When the fax machine is in the receiving state, it has these three state activities. Its entry activity is connect, its do activity is print, and its exit activity is disconnect. So if something happens to interrupt the transmission, uh, thereby interrupting the receiving state, the do activity of print may be interrupted and it might not complete. Even if that happens, though, the exit activity of disconnect will happen. So state activities are useful to show which activities can happen while an object is in a particular state.